It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at an exclusive box of beer that's landed into Tesco. A lot of you people will be really kind of interested in this box because it's from Cloudwater and it's only brewed for Tesco. Well, I think you can only pick these beers up in Tesco. Uh, beer with big ideas. Uh, why is it a big deal? Well, first of all, should we get a can out? before we get into the meat and, meat and drink of it. Let's get one of these cans. Where should we start? I think we'll start with the, I think do a non-alcoholic uh, beer. Uh, what's this one? Well, that's 6% ABV. 0.5% ABV. Let's, let's get a beer out into a glass. Right. Uh, this is a collaboration with Good Karma Beer Company, 0.5% uh, ABV. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. It's a 440 milliliter can. So it was £10 for the box, so that works out at £2.50 a can. There's a look at it, uh, pretty decent carbonation, pretty hazy to look at, straw coloured beer, let's get the aroma. Wow, that's really, really hoppy. And lemony, and maybe grapefruity. It smells really good for a more or less a non-alcoholic beer. Let's get in. Mm. It's like a juice drink. I mean, I've, I've stopped. I'm um, cleaning floors and staircases and stuff out there with a mop and a bucket today. Just cleaning up in the in the living room and dining room. And um, this is quite refreshing actually after doing that. Grapefruit, pineapple, orange, tangerine. It's pretty decent. Let's make a start. I think we'll do it in little stages. So. Um, I first had a cloud water beer in the supermarket. It was part of the Fuller's and Friends uh, beer box. It was it, it, ironically, it was it was a white beer box like that. It was made by Fuller's and Friends, and it was an exclusive to Waitrose. And in that box, there was a cloud water beer. So that was the first time ever cloud water which won, I think, Brewery of the Year for the whole world in something like 2017, I think about three or four years ago now, maybe 2018. Correct me in the comments box if I'm wrong. So Brewery of the, of, of the World, you know, at, at, at one of the craft awards, they, you know, they, they absolutely stormed it. One of the best breweries in the world. You know, they're right up there with, with, with other half and... Trillium and you know they did, a, they did a big name in brewing so <coughs> the toe in the water was with Fullers and Friends that's the first time you've seen Cloudwater's beers in the supermarket I don't want it to just be about that story I want it to be about the beers as well so um that's a 6% a, a IPA well I think we'll do it by ABV that's a 6% oh they're all 6% ABV okay Okie dokie dokie, right, let's get uh, just this uh, cloud water and queer brewing. Six percent ABV IPA. Uh, three finger 
white head. Good levels of carbonation. Hazy straw coloured beer. Very cloudy cloud water. It looks like a cloud water beer. Let's see what this £2.50 IPA. Let's get the aroma on it. Mmm. Smells good. Actually, that smells really good. Loads of pineapple chunk and orange peel and fleshy blood orange and grapefruit. Let's get in. Cheers. Oh, much more body. Much, much more body. This was nice. This, this, this kind of non-alcoholic beer was nice. Actually, one of the only non-alcoholic beers I actually like. I, I don't normally like them, but that for a half a percent ABV was really good. But this is a different kettle of fish. This is gorgeous. This is really a gorgeous, gorgeous beer. Mmm. Nice levels of carbonation pushing the beer on the inside of the mouth. Ooh, that's good. Passion fruit, mango, grapefruit, citrus. Uh, this IPA is a collaboration brew with Queer Brewing using our favourite malt base and yeast and features a hop called Citra. There we go. And uh, they talk about Queer Brewing. If you want to pause the video very quickly and have a read about their mission statement and their kind of their beliefs, there you go. You can pause that and read that. If I, if I'll do it also with this can because if I, if I start doing that with all the cans, we're going to be here for about fifteen minutes. So once it focuses, get the video to pause for you and then have a little read. That doesn't want to happen. Anyway, um, so where were, we, where were we with our story? By the way, this is an excellent, excellent IPA. It's fantastic, actually. So first toe in the water were Fuller's. That's the first time you've seen cloud water in a supermarket uh, with Waitrose. A few years later, um, they did a collaboration with Brewdog. Brewdog X Cloud Water. So it was a Brewdog beer. Um, collaborated with Cloud Water. And I thought that was a really, really good beer. And I call that game changer. I call that beer an absolute game changer for supermarket beer. Um, I think it was about three or four pound a can. Um, excellent quality beer. Um, worthy of the Cloud Water name. Um, another another toe in the water though fundamentally for me and I think if you watch my video I think I fundamentally said mark my words in a year or two maybe three years cloud water will be in the supermarket um, it's gonna happen this is the, the the logical step for them this is I think I said this is their toe in the water for Nate for cloud water in the supermarket um, Okay, so I, I kind of predicted it, I guessed it about a year or two ago, and then bish, bash, bosh, Tesco. Um, the beers are brewed at Brewdog, so these four beers, um, they're closely monitored quality-wise um, by Cloudwater, but they're brewed at Brewdog in Ellen, in Scotland, and they've got the collaborators to probably come up with a recipe and travel up to Ellen or maybe you know, just do it all through email and, and, and work out a nice IPA and, and you know. Um, but what, um, should we crack up on another beer and we'll get to the next stage of the story because I want to talk about um, Cloudwater putting out a massive statement. I mean, the statement they put out about putting their beers in Tesco, for me, um, I think it was a very nervous moment for them, but we'll get to that in a moment. Let's open the next beer. That is terrific. Terrific. Uh, so next beer then, we have, we'll just get out the Rock Leopard Brewing Company and Cloudwater, 6% ABV IPA. And I think this is the African. Maybe not. No, I think this is the African. Yeah, the African. We'll get we'll get to that in a moment. But here we go. Another six percent IPA in the glass. Uh, 
interesting look that they've gone for a slightly different colour. They've really thought this through. If you look at the three beers, 0.5% ABV, different colour. This was gorgeous, but look, it's a different colour. They've really thought this through. I mean, the, the, the reason why they've really thought this through is because they're going to have lots and lots of people really digging into this, really kind of like digging the turf on this. Try to kind of, I don't know, pull the, pull the whole thing to pieces maybe, but not, not in a bad way, but just making sure that, you know, they don't want Twitter going wild or Instagram with, oh, all the four beers look the same colour, they all taste the same, you know. They've really put a lot of energy into this. I'm I'm 100 independent. Um, if it was a load of r rubbish so far, I would have told you so. But it's very good so far. And um, this is more of a, a slightly orangey hue to the to the beer. One finger white head. Let's get the aroma. I say this is more of a probably a West Coast IPA. A little bit more bitterness coming through. Let's dive in. I think this is going to be a long video anyway, guys. Sorry, my apologies. We got a lot to get through. We got a lot to get through. Yeah, a little bit more bitterness. Little bit more bitterness. Definitely a different beer. Passion fruit, mango, grapefruit, but I think they've dry hopped this a little bit. And there's a little there's a there's a little bit more bitterness coming through. But fundamentally, a similar, similar tasting IPA. On with the story. So this statement comes out by Cloudwater. I think it was late last week, so that was mid-April. Um, they put out a massive statement. I started reading it, and I started, and I carried on reading it. And by the end, I was, I was bored. Um, it basically goes a little bit like this. Um, we thought about it. We thought about it. We thought about it. We thought about it a little bit more uh, and then we decided to go for it and personally if you're asking for my opinion as to why they went for it um, I think that they've seen their massive they've seen their rivals Northern Monk you know Brewdog to an extent definitely Northern Monk and North North Brewing Company I mean all in that kind of northern region of the UK um, doing really really well salt Salt Beer Company, everybody knowing what salt can do. Um, they came really, for me, they really came from nowhere to become a fantastic brewery, which I always, when I see their beer, I always pick up their, their Huckabuck and their, their other beers. Fantastic. So I think it was a decision not purely for finance reasons. Of course, finance comes into it. Of course, making money comes into it. But I think this was more to, to maybe, they've got a lot of exposure. Cloudwater have got a lot of exposure in the brewing world, in the craft beer world. But not so much in the regular kind of Tesco shop, a man on the street, Sun newspaper reading, you know, Red Top reading, you know... It's a different, it's a different way of life, isn't it? So I think they wanted exposure as Salt and Northern Monk and, and, and these other these other breweries have had the same exposure. They wanted the same exposure. Um, they wanted to put their name on a bigger map. And it was probably the next logical step. The other, probably, the other reason was probably volume. They probably installed a few more fermenters and a few more bits of brewing kit and they wanted to, you know, max out on their volume. But anyway, let's get it. Oh, I didn't show you, did I? The, um, the idea behind this beer. Um, Rock Leopard Brewing. Let's see if we can get this to focus. It's focused straight away, that one. Look at that. Pause the video if you want to have a read. Uh, this is a collaboration with Eco Brewery. Cloudwater and Eco Brewery. And this is the African-themed beer, which I'm really interested in, by the way. Um, they're looking for people to get exposed to more African kind of culinary experiences and it sounds really interesting. I don't think I've ever had any African food. I'd love to try some African food. I live over in 
Wales where you know there's there's not that much kind of going on in terms of that scene but if you're living in London if you're living in London yeah you you definitely you can definitely find that scene if you want to find that scene some some African cuisine which is the brewery what the brewery are looking for which is really cool um one to two finger white head hazy straw colored beer a little bit of carbonation looks very nice let's get the aroma blimey we're 15 minutes in This smells like a combination between the two IPAs. There's a little bit of bitterness coming through, but it's really soft and lovely, like the first IPA we got to. This is really, really smelling fantastic, which brings me nicely to my closing message. My closing, you know, this is a reference in history. There's no turning back, the, the, you know, the, you can see the quality of the beer, it's on YouTube in 4K, there's no hiding behind it, you know, we put a mark in history today, the beer has to stay this standard, we'll get to that in a moment, let's dive in. This has got more of a like a mango passion fruit, lots of mango and passion fruit coming through. Mm. But another ultimately stunning, stunning, stunning beer from Cloudwater and of course Eco Brewery. I'd like to try more of their beers, Eco Brewery. That'd be a really nice thing. Um, to get hold of and, and of course the other the other breweries beers of course it's just I read this message and it kind of grabbed me I was like oh I'm really interested in that you know it's great but have a reader there have a reader there can the, the, the message on the back of the can so again fantastic beer Fantastic beer, which brings me to my closing message. And I think this is probably the most important message for cloud no, not for cloud water, but well, I suppose for people who buy cloud water beer. Uh, back 11 years ago, without me really knowing, I did a review of Brewdog's Punk IPA. And Brewdog's Punk IPA, if you watched the original video, was 6% ABV. It looked like this. It, it tasted like this. It was terrific. It was a terrific beer. That beer is on YouTube. It will always be on YouTube. People will always see it being poured out. They will always see it being hazy. They'll always know by me showing the label that it was 6% ABV. Here is my message. What I hope... What I hope doesn't happen with cloud water is that they've gone right we're going to take a massive loss we're going to take a massive loss on this first initial release of beers into tesco we're going to make full-on punchy top drawer cans of, of, of beer which should cost five pound and we're going to sell them for two pound fifty we're going to cut our losses for this first six months we're going to brew an amazing beer for tesco we're going to have people you know, eating their words, if you like. The, the doubters who probably doubted this are probably going to eat their words. That's what they want. What I want is for this to continue. You can see. Where did that other beer go? I put one down and I can't... Oh, there it is. You can see. You can see the quality of this beer, everybody. It's a mark in history. It's a line in the sand. As of April the 21st, when I'll be posting this video to YouTube, you will see the quality of these beers in YouTube, on YouTube. What I don't want to happen, and it's the reason why I mentioned Brewdog's Punk IPA, is if somebody watches my original video of Punk IPA and they buy a bottle now at 5.4% ABV, and, and, and it's looking like it's looking now and smelling like it's smelling now and tasting like it's tasting now, then people are going to go, this is a completely different beer. 
Because Brewdog are a much, much bigger brewery now. And they don't have to make great beer anymore. What I don't want to see from Cloudwater is the same thing. I don't want... If you're watching this in five years' time, if you're watching this in ten years' time, I don't want you to be shaking your head now going, it's completely different beer. It's not as good as you were, you know, you were saying all those years ago. And this is just a timestamp for the future. I didn't know I was making a timestamp when I made that Brewdog Punk IPA video. It just kind of, I was a beer reviewer and I put it on YouTube, but it now has become a timestamp. It is a timestamp. People watch it all of the time. And I get lots of comments and messages and emails about, wow, what Punk IPA used to be. These beers are excellent. They really are. And long may that continue, Cloudwater. Long may that continue. I hope you liked the video. Please comment. Please subscribe. Share it with your friends and family. If you are watching in the future, hello future, um, comment, subscribe, boom, cheers.